Hi Felters and welcome. Today we're going to make one of these. These are my lazy llamas. They're lazy because they're lying down all day but they're also lazy because they've got no legs and they're very easy for us to make. Let's get started. So these are the colours I've done. You could do whatever colour you want. Also you could do a nice brown one. Um, I would definitely like the white the best. So take a, a white carded wool for the middle, a little bit of pink, a little bit of black. Then you need the wool. It has to have a twist on it. Uh, a pipe cleaner, two eyes, scissors, ow, you don't necessarily need a bit of glue. These are the wools I did for the other ones. And notice they've got the twist, so that really helps with the effect. So take the white carded wool, a really quite a big clump of it and roll it up nice and small and start felting and you'd like it to be a cylindrical shape um oh yes my multi-tools have been really good if anyone didn't see my multi-tool video i'm absolutely loving them and so build it up slowly i'm not firming it up uh, too much at the moment i'll do that in a minute so here we go i've built it all up i'll give you the measurements in a sec and then just go over and felt the surface a little bit firmer because that way when you attach the wool it'll attach a little bit better <clears throat> excuse me I'm just drinking the tea now uh, so it's four inches in length really and definitely two and a half to three inches wide and that's how you want it to finish when you're done and then take the pipe cleaner I doubled mine and it's about three and a half inches in length for the neck you could do it a bit shorter I did think my neck was a bit too long on this one the white one has a much shorter neck and I think it looks better and if anyone thinks they're alpacas they probably are closer to alpacas than llamas but it doesn't work otherwise lazy alpacas isn't the same so the neck just build it up and you want it to be about an inch wide and again firm it up and that's how we're going to attach it in a bit and so now onto the head so again take a small clump of wool and you'll basically roll it up about two inches in length leave the back of it fluffy but the other end you definitely need to round off quite a bit take any bits out because it'll definitely show because this is the nose so round it off and firm it up so do that first not loads and then take some more wool and put it through the middle because their heads are really round so we want lots of roundness further back so leave the little rounded nose this is just the back of it um, and then so do a bit around it and then this bit I decided to do uh, Princess Leia ears to really build it up at the sides to make it nice and sort of fluffy and circular so I put two little extra rolls on either side and that will give you a really good shape when you're adding the wool see the nose there that's the bit we're just going to firm up so I drew a little circle all the way around with the needle so I know sort of how far back I'm going and then I spent a bit of time firming up that little area so it's a nice rounded nose it doesn't have to be solid just a bit rounder then take some pink and you saw I was folding it under and under and roll it into a little ball. This is where you can really definitely poke your fingers, so be really careful. And felt it into a ball as much as you can. It's quite tricky because it's so small. And then put it on the nose and you want it slightly up a bit because you're going to put a mouth underneath. So you don't want it in the middle or too low. You want it slightly up on the end bit and just gently felt it in. And I think the pink nose looks really cute but you could do a white nose it doesn't have to be pink so for the mouth take a little bit of the black wool twist it and it really is a tiny bit I do a whole video on animal faces if you want to sort of go through this a bit more but you twist it and then I do either side cut off the excess and then felt it in gently I'm using most of the time quite a fine needle here so that it doesn't over felt it in and then just cut off any black stray bits take another bit of black and put it under the nose not all the way round so it's just like a U and I tried to pull it down a little bit so it's got a V shape but it doesn't matter too much actually on this and then just needle felt either end in and then you're going to connect the two with one bit going straight down and this gives them a really lovely little feature of, of a mouth and nose 
there we go and you can just sort of fold the end bits in there quite easily and I felt there wasn't quite enough shape to the top of the head so I just added a little bit more to help with the roundness so for the eyes they're going to be quite low down yeah hold it across and then you can get it level needle <clears throat> needle felt the hole and then pop it in and check now these eyes were too big I didn't realize I'd picked up a big pair so the pair that we take them out and put them in are three mil and I think eyes always look better slightly smaller rather than too big so take a little bit of um, it's just an all-purpose glue put the ends in and then pop them in and they'll stay in really really well there we go and now we're going to attach it all and this is how we're going to do it So I was just leveling him off there but I'll show you that in a minute now onto the ears so take a little section of the white wool fairly thin and then just start felting it and it's going to be quite long and oval a bit sort of fish shape I suppose and just start felting through the middle peel it off your mat uh, up several times in total the ear will be about one inch in length but actually only a tiny bit is going to show above all the wool I just use these two needles um, elasticate with an elastic band put them together so once you've felted through the ear to get a nice smart edge bit what I do and some of you guys will know if you follow me is put it between two cardboard two bits of plastic something that you won't hurt yourself with and it gives you a really lovely sharp edge without you having to worry too much about getting your fingers and so I do either side and then gently work up towards the point otherwise you can end up sort of squashing the point too quickly so it's going to be a nice sort of oval shape and there we go it's mostly all done so it's pretty good and then we're going to put a tiny bit of pink on the inside and do it very gently um, 45 degrees or with a nice fine needle so it doesn't go all the way through and again make sure check the other side that it hasn't gone through trim off any annoying bits or you can iron it as well those are, i've got a smooth video that i um, how to get a smooth finish and that goes on about ironing and then fold them in half and felt the bottom and that's how we're going to put them on so that's me attaching them they go at the back of the head um, and down a little bit these could have gone a little bit further down which on the white one they were a bit further down so i think they looked a little bit better now I was trying to level him off because you're, the only problem you're going to get is he'll tip forwards because his head's so heavy. So even when you've got the ears on, have a check. And I put more on his bottom. And that's good, he's standing. And then if you flatten the underneath, and again, we're going to do this in a minute towards the end. So take the wool that you're going to use and just um, get a bit of it all loose ready so that you're not pulling on it. And it's really simple. I will go in close in a minute. You just do a little loop. So you're sort of looping uh, an inch's worth or maybe a bit less and then you felt that down a bit too. So it's just a little loop. It's not We're not doing it really close like I do in some of my PDFs. You're giving yourself that little fluffiness with that loop, loop. And then you just felt it down all over just to check it's all secure. And it's really quite easy and it gives a beautiful effect.
So work your way all around the body, all the way underneath, up the neck. Be a bit careful of the pipe cleaner as you go up the neck. Um, so you have a big, I have quite a thick needle, a 36 or a 38. And then just work your way around the back of the ears. It's okay to have lots of fluff around the ears because you just want them poking up. And I, I sort of just like to finish around the head. I find it easier. And work your way all the way around. Underneath, it goes right under the chin and around the eyes. You're going to leave a tiny little gap around the eyes. So when you get a little bit further on here, I'll just sort of cut the end. Oh, I think I've done it already. And then you just have a tiny bit coming down the bridge of the nose. You'll see them in a minute. Now, checking for levelness, pushing the bottom in works really well and then felting it flat again at the bottom. So this will all help and then you can push the neck back a bit. That's the only thing you've got to try and work out that he's uh, level and balanced and standing. And the tail. I nearly forgot the tail. I always forget tails. Take a little bit of white wool or whatever colour you're doing. You could have put grey on him. And very gently fluff it round. You want to keep it, I, I like it quite fluffy. And then hold it on and then I just felt around the base of it. So I keep that fluffiness in the tail, but it stays on. And that's it. He's really quite simple. I'm going to do, oh, here they are, just to show you. I really like the white one. I think he's, he's much, much better. I am going to do a PDF with legs if you want your llama to have legs. <laughs> Look at their little fluffy tails. But um, they're very easy, very simple. The one at the front I did with the ears backwards, so sort of the grumpy llama. But um, they're lovely, super simple, great for beginners. I hope you've enjoyed it, everybody. I've got quite a new, quite a few uh, exciting videos still to come. And thanks for watching. Do subscribe and see you again soon. Take care.